Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. In this DCS World tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use the radios in the GF17, specifically how to change the pre-planned modes, how to select them, and of course how to put in a manual frequency. It's quite simple. This video is going to be fairly short. Let's get cracking. Okay, so here I am in the cockpit of the GF17. I've just done the basics of the startup. I've not set up any of my radios. Now, the GF, we've got two radios, COM1 and COM2. COM2 is always your data link radio, so we're going to press that first. So we're going to press the button next to the COM1 twice, then we're going to press 199, enter. Now, we're going to enter as master and enter the net. Now, we can see here, we have just entered the data link. We've got all that data link data coming in now. There's another GF on their runway somewhere. Okay, so that radio is set up now. I'm not going to touch COM2. That's set up for my mission. What I'm going to do is talk about COM1, the one we're going to use. Now, the GF17 comes with various preset radios. Now, I will divert your attention to the top left of the screen. This is my SRS panel over. So you can see here, 250.2 is COM1. Now, I know that because my preset frequency, so to bring up your preset frequencies, you press right shift and K, and then right bracket, right bracket now we have channel one preset is 250 decimal two channel two is 248 and so forth these have all been preset by the mission makers for this particular uh, server the technical dcs training server so a lot of these are things for tankers or airfields things like that but let's say i wanted to change one of my presets i didn't want channel one to be 250 decimal two i wanted it to be 265 decimal seven five now, we can't change it on the upfront control panel. What we need to do is change it on the radio panel back here. Now, the radio panel is going to be in transmit receive. You've done that on your startup. Now, I want to change preset channel one. So I need to press this little button in the middle. That's the radio control handover button. That lets me edit the radio. So I'm going to press that button and we'll see a little yellow light up here. We're then going to press zero and seven because we're editing preset channels okay so zero seven and then it's asked me here which channel do i want to edit now i want to edit channel one so i'm going to press zero zero one enter now it brings up an f it's saying you need to input the frequency so i need to rotate my dial down to the set position so i'm going to press right mouse button four times until it gets to set now it's telling me here the frequency is two five zero decimal two i don't want that i want 265.75 so I press enter to clear it and then I input my new frequency 265 nope <laughs> so put in the wrong frequency to change it perfect time you press enter 265.75 now I don't need to press enter again by pressing enter it's going to ask me for a new frequency as soon as I've done that I just rotate back around to the transmit receive and deselect that. Now I'm no longer editing the radio and if you look up in the top left my frequency has changed to 265.75 and also in my preset list channel 1 has changed to 265.75. So what I'll do now is I will change it back. So radio control button in the middle 07 to edit the preset. Now we're going to edit preset channel 1. Rotate the dial round to set and then change it back to 250200. Rotate it back around to transmit with left click four times. And channel one is now 250.2. That's how you change a preset. Now let's say we were going to go to a tanker. So we didn't want to just change the preset radio. We wanted to just click onto a different frequency. Not necessarily doing a preset radio. Editing all that gubbins that we've just done. We just wanted to be on it for a short time. Perfect example is like a tanker or work of the JTAC. So again, back to our radio panel. And this time, we're going to press the manual and in 7. Instead of 07, it's going to be man 7. But first, of course, we're going to press that button in the middle. Then we press man 7. Now it's asking us what frequency do we want to put in. Let's say, I don't know, 244500. And then we press enter. And then up here we can see 244.5. So our VHF radio has been tuned to 244.5. Now we are automatically 
on that radio. So because we've got manual frequency selected, that's what we're talking on. So we'll speak to the tanker, do our tanker join, or we'll go to the JTAC, work with them, drop off our, our bombs. Let's say we want to go back to preset. I find the easiest way is to press this little button three times. So we go one, two, three, because then we're not editing it anymore. So when that yellow light is on, this, the two yellow lights, it means you're editing the radio. So we're now back to normal and the frequency's changed. Let's say we go back to the tanker later on the mission. I press the radio edit button. If you notice there, when I press manual, nothing happens. I need to put the edit button and then manual. And the frequency jumps to your last preset frequency. That was 244.5. So there we go. That's how we set that. I run over it again. So to edit a manual frequency, press the radio edit button, manual seven, and then we'll go 244650 this time. Don't need to press enter, it automatically goes up. If we deselect, it means we're not editing it anymore. If we reselect and then deselect, so we're not editing, we're back to our pre programmed mode of 250.2. That's how we edit the preset radios, and that's how we select a manual frequency. So we're only on it for a short time. If you're going to be on it for something longer as part of the mission, I recommend changing the actual preset frequency. To change the preset radios, it's just as simple as pressing the arrow button next to the COM1 and then selecting the new preset that you want to do. So from 1 to 2, and then you see the frequency in the SRS changes. If I want to change it to a different one, just press that arrow, change it, and then it returns. So COM1 is now on preset 059. And then we set it back to 001. Easy peasy. So yeah, that's how you edit the frequencies. Let me know in the comments below if you do it a different way in the GF-17. Uh, this way is nice and easy and I find it's quite simple, especially if you're working with a tanker, just do that manual frequency quickly. Again, there's more GF content coming. Uh, I really enjoy flying this airframe. It is so underrated. It's beyond belief. I love it. It's a cracking little bird. Thank you very much for watching. As always, a link to the Tactical DCS Discord is in the description below. And there you'll find all our server details and some amazing people to go and fly with. And they're going to help you learn aircraft. And hopefully this video has helped. If it has, please consider dropping a like and a subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, Tactical Pascal, out.